Hello and welcome to Nomad Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. Uh, doing a little short video here. I want to show you a little bit of farming that I've been doing lately. So I finally, it took me several days of playing. And I say days, I mean, you know, a couple hours here, a couple hours there, setting all this up. And I'm heading off to my main freighter here. Okay, sorry, I gotta wait for everything to load and let for all these guys to come out of the, all these different rooms. All right, whatever. So, doing a little farming. So, what are we doing today? We're creating a device in our inventory. We have one right now. I have a bunch of them, actually, but I have one in my inventory right now. That is this little device right here, the Fusion Igniter. Very valuable piece of equipment. You can't buy it from a space station. You really can't get it any other way other than to craft one. This takes a lot of items to craft. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause this for just a second and I'm going to see if I can include a screen over to one side here. I've got to find it. Hold on just a second here. I must have moved it. Ah, there it is. I found it. There we go. Let's see here. And I'm going to see if I can't get that to pull in here. So the window we want to look at. Let me see if it'll allow me to do this. Yes, it will. Okay. Not showing at the moment. Let me see if I can get this to work here. Let me put you on pause for just a second. Okay, and we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out of this game screen. I'm going to show you an image screen instead. We're just going to make the image pop up right over the top of this one here. So you can see what I'm talking about here. So what we got here is we got this really huge image. Uh, maybe hard to pick out on this one, even at the resolution that we're talking about. I've got it at... Uh, the best resolution I can but we're mostly looking at the right hand side here over here we want to make one of these fusion igniters now see if I can zoom in a little bit and get it to show up a little bit better for you so it requires many different items and it gives you a whole listing of these you can look this up online um, and it, this person put it together in a chart format so we do have to get all these items sulfury nitrogen radon we're gonna need some uranium we're gonna need uh, ammonia pyrite mordite several plants right condensed carbon you're going to need ionized cobalt and and what these do is these two combine into these items here then each of these items produce this one item that's how it looks like here these two into that these three these two go into that one combined with that go into this etc 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 so you have to make all these items so i'm going to shrink this back down again so i can see what i'm doing i know it's kind of confusing and it gives you a listing of every single amount of items to make just one so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make just one of these. Now you could also go the other way and make the stasis device over here too with different items. But we're not going to worry about doing that just yet. So let's turn that back off again. And we're back to our main game screen here. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we can do here um, in getting this done. Uh, I want to actually get rid of this for a moment. There we go make sure the game is working right okay we're back to normal here all right so let's get back to the game we want to make one of these right so we need a whole bunch of that stuff that I was just talking about so we're gonna gather up all the items I need now I'm going to over on my other screen when where you can't see is I'm gonna open that chart up nice and big so that I can read it all and you can't too bad Hope you took a screenshot. Hope you can read it later. But like I said, you can look it up online. It's just a product crafting tree is all this is. So one of the things I need is I need carbon. So what I did is I went into my ship here and I started producing these guys. I went in here and these give carbon on the sides. Anytime you build out one of these, uh, uh, what do they call these? Hold on, I know the name for this. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, cultivation chambers. I was producing some double cultivation chambers in order to get things. Uh, growing in them. In this case, fungal mold is one of the things I needed. But over on the side walls, you can gather up the carbon. 
You get about, uh, let's see, 60 out of that one. You're up to 130. And as you can see, I can just keep going and I keep gathering it up along the whole sides of all these you know, chambers in here. Okay? So that said, that's one thing I need. Now, one of the things I need, if you look at the bottom, well, if you, if you have the chart open on yourself, we need 600 fungal mold. So I had to plant these guys. How much do we get from each one? Get about 50. We can harvest all plants, and that gives us 100 all total. So we'll go down here. I can harvest them one at a time, or I can point down at the center here and harvest all plants. That should give us about 200. There we go. So that gives us, what, 300 total, right? Now, I'm not going to gather up the rest of the carbon here because I happen to have plenty of it on me right now. So that's one room. So remember, we got 300 fungal mold. We need 600, right? Let's harvest on. So we need some mordite. Uh, pardon me, this is cactus flesh. We need 300 cactus flesh. So let's hit the center unit. That should give us 200. And it'll give us 400. I know those guys gave us 100 apiece. So now that I know that, I'll know that for future reference. We've also got frost wart here. So let's see what we get. Frost crystals, we get 100. We needed 100. And we got an extra 200 cactus flesh. So we got 600 cactus. We also need selenium. How many of that we need? We need 200. Hold on. There we go. 200 it is. Okay. So we got all those. Let's move on over here. I have a couple more rooms set up. Here we go. Some more fungal plants. There we go. And that's the other 200. So that gives us 600, but I have extras here just in case I need it. Plus some mordite. We only needed 25 mordite, though. So there's 150 fungal and 25 mordite. Okay. So we've got all the plants that we needed, I believe. Let me just check through here. The answer is yes. So, uh, and we needed star bulbs. Now, star bulbs are another story. I didn't plant them on the ship because I knew that it was going to be a little bit more than I could require from the ship itself. Though it says 200. But I was going to, planning on making a larger farm so I could make a lot more of these units. But I decided to go simpler with you folks. So I have a whole bunch of bases, as we all do as time goes by. Ignore that. I had something set up there specifically for something else. So I go through and you'll see that I have a here, star bulb base. Now, I could have, if I wanted to make large quantities of these, the problem would have been I wouldn't have had not enough room on my ship to do it all, and I would have had to create farms of them. Now, you can't make huge, sprawling farms. Now, uh, maybe if you have the better, a better video card than I do, or a video processor, you could probably get away with doing it. But my card was crawling and actually caused my game to crash a couple times at one point or another. So, on my main planet, I have this base set up. Got power coming to it in the whole nine yards. I think I just landed on a whole bunch of planters over here. I didn't actually plant anything here just yet. I was getting ready to plant a whole bunch of stuff. So you can see, eh, that's quite the farm I had going on over here. Huh? So, over here, we have Mordite Root. So, for some reason, I never actually planted my Star Bulb. That doesn't really help you out much now, does it? But, if I'm not mistaken, let's check my freighter real quick. Uh, let's see. Plants. Star Bulbs. Yeah, we only have 105. How many did we need? We need 200. Okay, so we should be able to get that fairly easy. I'm going to go ahead and take it anyway. Put it in my exosuit inventory. And if I'm not mistaken, this plant, planet, plant, planet, 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 this planet has star bulbs on it someplace. They have impulse beans already. Definitely don't need that much mordite. We can just boost away a little far away from here so I can take another look. Sweet root, pulpy roots. Of course, I'm not going to find any right now. All right, let's go ahead and get some of that. Oh, you know what? Now's a good time to show you this glitch. I don't know if I've ever showed it to you before, but... All right. They should shut down a portable refiner. You take your star bolts. Oh, there they go. 
And I only need 200. So if I put down another portable refiner right in the same place as this one and pick them both up, you get double the money. In this case, we got double our star bulbs in just one fell swoop. Not bad, right? I like it. So, now we have our 200 star bulbs. Now we can continue. So, what else did we need? We needed some ionized cobalt, which we should already have on our starship, maybe? No, I think I put him on my person. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. Put it down here. No, probably not. So why don't we go get some? Because that's the whole purpose of this, right? All right. Now, why is the purpose of this? So the purpose of this is we're going to go to another base, and we have a base called... And I probably was on that first screen. Here it is, Cobalt Base. Now, I picked a planet... I, I found a system that had, I think, four different planets in it that provided all the materials, minerals, and stuff like that that I needed. So, this should work out just dandy. Let's see. We needed ionized cobalt. We need some pure ferrite, pyrite, uranium, ammonia. And those are all gathered from the planets. Then the three gases, the sulfurine, nitrogen, and radon. Sulfurine and nitrogen can be found on regular ordinary planets anywhere. But radon can only be found on hot planets for the most part. Or I think it was also human planets. So here we are. This is our area. Now over here we have these units right here. So this is cobalt. Now you can see these units aren't running right now. They usually put out 215 an hour. But nighttime, these things can't put out much juice. Even though they have the power to run those units. I got six batteries, they got plenty of juice, and those units should be running like crazy right now, but they're not. Not that it makes a difference, because I almost guarantee you that the canisters here are probably full. Yep, 100% full. See, that's the problem. So if I take all 11,500, just take them in my starship for now, normally those units would have kicked on by now. But because it's nighttime, and we're not going to see daytime in... Ten more minutes. This thing's dropping like a rock, too. Probably going to run out of power soon. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So we got our cobalt, which we can then turn into ionized cobalt, right? We only need 50 of it anyway. So our next planet is going to be for... I'm just going to go in order here. I got the ionized. We need pure ferrite. So let's look for our base that we have named after ferrite. Nitrogen, nitrogen, Magnetized ferrite. That's what we're looking for. And we'll get ammonia while we're there. Because this base, I found two deposits pretty close by. I had to do a little bit of finagling to get it to work properly. Because I, I go to the ferrite base, I pick up my, ma my magnetized ferrite, which is a 2 to 1 ratio can con convert into pure ferrite. So let's wait for us to appear at the base. There we go. Alright, while we're here, let's get into our inventory. And we need to make some ionized ferret, uh, ionized cobalt, don't we? There it is. Now I don't I only need fifty. So, we'll just put that there, we'll drop this down to 50 and call it a day. One of my other ships has everything I need anyway. So that's going to work for us. And here we are. Same kind of situation. We have plenty of magnetized ferrite. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my starship for now. And same amount of time, I'm assuming. Four minutes remaining. Got a lot more power here, I got a few extra batteries. Okay, good deal. Now, and it's, as you can hear, uh, my exosuits refiner is done. So I'll go ahead and take that. I'll put it in the starship, starship. And we need to make purifier. Now, I've already got some. But for the sake of argument... Oh, magnetized ferrite right there. there. Should be one more stack that it somewhere in here. Here it is. And how much do we need? 
We need 200 pure ferret. We only need 100 of this. There we go. Again, for the sake of argument. Okay, let's get the ammonia while we're here. So this is what I have set up to go to that base. Boink. 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 And here we are. And we've got plenty of ammonia. We'll just put it in my exosuit since the starship's out of range. Let's work our way back, shall we? And here we are. Back to our base. Yeah, it's not populating properly. That's okay. All right. So we just want to do that real quick just to save it. It does saves on its own, but that's okay. So we've got our pure fair right now. So if you were doing this from scratch, this is how it would work out. All right. Next item on the list is going to be pyrite. So... Dee -dee -dee -dee, over to our next base. Uh, let's see... We will go to uranium in a minute. Where's our pyrite base? There you are. So we already got the ammonia. We need pyrite and uranium. We didn't get the ammonia. No, we didn't. I'm sorry. But that was ammonia. Yeah, that was ammonia. My bad. I'll be alright. Don't worry. Medication helps. No, I'm kidding. Just joking. It's been a very long week. Unfortunately, this is a Friday, so. And we're back. Boy, none of these planets have daylight at this point. This one has 11 minutes remaining. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the pyrite out of here. Okay, pyrite it is. Next one is uranium. Again, we'll go to our uranium base. Should be right there. All right, see you in a moment. And we're at our uranium base. Okay, does anyone else think it's kind of creepy that I get to every single place and none of them have daylight at the time that I arrive? It's getting kind of weird, man. All right, I could always use extra uranium, so I made sure I made this base a little bit bigger. All right, let's see. So next on our list is, let's just make sure. Good, good, good. So suit, we have ammonia. Okay, so we're not gonna go after that. We're gonna go sulfurine. Let's go for the sulfurine, shall we? Let's see, so I've got a base. And you know, I named the bases purposely like this. So, you know, this is what you kind of want to do. Uranium. There you are, sulfurine, top left. On our way, right back. And we're back. And this should be sulfurine. Again, nighttime. What is going on here? I'm curious. 12 minutes remaining. I don't know what's going on. It's like I built every single... Ah, that doesn't make any sense. Moving on. Moving on. Next place, we're going to go nitrogen and then radon. Maybe we can find one planet that's uh, operating. Nitrogen says it's in the current system, so let's see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it would take a little bit quicker than that. My bad. All right. Um, that's kind of weird. What happened here? Hmm. Does anyone else think that something strange happened here? Like... Maybe... 
there's no oh, interesting well, congratulations folks my nitrogen base didn't work so you might get yourself an opportunity to oh wait a second there it is. <laughs> so, I guess we'll go ahead and pull it. Yep. Look at that. Very nice. Pretty good concentration of the stuff. Those those gas uh, pullers are, are really really quiet, unlike the mineral ones. All right. So nitrogen we got. Oh, that was kind of creepy. Yeah. I gotta put a sign up for myself so I remember in the future. So we're after our last base, which is the Radon base. Radon base is there. Here we go. I'll be right back. And that's never a sign you want to see when you arrive at your base. Let's see why. They have zero output. Ah, you know what, though? It's almost daylight, and these things are probably full. Yeah, they are. They are. So I'll give you a little clue on this if we wait around for a minute as to what happens on something like this. So we basically, I basically build this. You see there's no wires going in between because as long as these things are mounted in or on top of your uh, these particular types of buildings, they will automatically interface with it, electrically speaking. So that's a cool thing to do. And as soon as they open... They should now be providing enough juice for whatever we need. Let me see here. No, I do not have enough. Okay, let's do this. Let's fix it. And power. So a couple extra ones down. What do we need? We're missing gold. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I think we have some on our freighter. There we go. Whoa, okay, that's just... Yeah, alright, let's pull back a little bit. It'll be kind of sloppy looking. Forgive me. There we go. I'll put five. All right, you notice that they started, they immediately kicked back on. So at half power, these are putting out enough juice to charge up grid power. And that's what you really want. You want to at least have twice as much as what's required at full strength. And to be able to charge these stuff, things up. And then once uh, the sun gets up high enough over here, these things will start pulling about uh, 50 to 52. Okay. And it'll charge everything up. And there they go. All right, good deal. So we're done with that. Let's go ahead and head back to the freighter. Just right up above us, and it should only take a second. There we go. Thunk. All righty. So let's go through the creation process. I don't have to go anywhere and do anything but jump into my inventory. So let's go to the exosuit. Go to an empty spot. Okay, for first thing we need, I need to combine selenium and frost crystal to make heat capacitors. So let's go ahead and get a... Uh, actually, I'm going to go all the way to the left here. I need sulfurine and condensed carbon to make a thermic con condensate. So let's look for thermic thermic condensate. should be down here. It's a ball. That's gravity. There it is. Third, yeah, so we need one of those. We'll need nitrogen salt. Same area. If you see it, yell out. I know, I'm joking. I know this is a recording. Erroneum, that's what I saw. Let me guess. I never learned the... There it is. Okay, there it is. Alright, so we got the nitrogen salt. We need enriched carbon 
get that. There it is. Okay, and so the these two will make will make into something else in just a second. Let's move along. We need a heat capacitor. Capacitor. We also need polyfiber. It's green. There it is. There. Uh, let's see. Next thing we need another thermic condensate, so we can just do that. But I'm going to put one over here, so it's out of the way. Uh, need another enriched carbon. Put over here. We need another nitrogen salt. You over here. We need acid and unstable gel. So let's get the acid next. There it is. Unstable gel. Is that it? Nope, it's a conductor. We'll be making that in a minute. And there's the unstable gel. Okay. Now, we only need three more items. Uh, dirty Bronze, Lemium, and Herox. Well, let's make these into what they're supposed to be so we can clear up some space. So, we need to make the two over here, these two, into a semiconductor. So, we'll go ahead and do that. You saw me come across it earlier. Oh, there it is. So, there's the semiconductor. We need to combine the semiconductor with the enriched carbon, and that will give us a superconductor kind of a purplish thing in nature. There it is. And there they are. Now, the heat capacitor, the polyfiber, they turn into a circuit board. So let's go ahead and make that. There we are. Okay. Alright, so these two now combine, these two together combine into an organic catalyst. Let's get that one. And then combined with the nitrogen salt, saw, uh, what are they called? Salt uh, should give us the fusion accelerant. There it is. And finally, these two combine to give us a liquid explosive. Let's get that going. There it is. All right. Now, what are the value of these things? Fifteen hundred. Uh, 1.5 million, I should say. Uh, not quite a million. 1.5 million, 800,000. That's what these are worth. Now, we're going to make those three stones I was talking about. So let's move these guys over. Just give it a little extra space for a second. And we'll make the three stones. We need dirty bronze first. Well, that's a combination of pure ferrite with pyrite. Dirty bronze, there we go. We need one lemium, which is a combination of pure ferrite with uranium. Lemium, right? So what I said? Yep, there we go. And then lastly, we need herox, which is ionized cobalt and ammonia. Yellowstone. There you are, herox. So there's the three stones. These three stones combined to form geodesite. It's a purple stone. There you are. And there you are. So now we have the basis for getting these things done. We're almost done here. We're going to combine these two into a quantum processor. Let's go ahead and do that. Quantum processor. Valued at 4.4 million. It's getting pretty expensive stuff here, huh? The liquid explosive and the fusion accelerant give us a portable reactor. Portable reactor. 4.2 million. Okay. So now we have bound to these three base units right here. And these three base units together give us one fusion igniter worth 15.6 million. I now have two of them. Well, I've actually got a few more of that than that, just to be clear. I've got a few 
One stack of this is worth 312 million. So, almost three stacks. Three, six, 850 million I have right here. And if I create more of those, I can get myself a cool billion, dollar, billion credits with just that alone. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll take those 20, I'll divide them into stacks of five, and then I'll jump into the anomaly one day and just hand it out to you know, whoever I suspect is a uh, newbie player, just to give them a little bonus credits to start out with. Something they can sell at a, at a trading post. But that's basically what you can build here. It's, that's how you can make money. Um, so if you do it the legitimate way, and you produce your farms and create the items little by little, it doesn't really take long. It takes long to set everything up, and then jumping from place to place I mean, how long has this video been going right now? I mean, we've been going for, what, uh, half hour. So, in a half hour, while I'm describing it to you, I was able to create something that's worth 15 million. You have a big enough farm, you can create multiples of those. I guarantee you in a half hour, collecting from all your farms, you can produce stacks of this stuff and walk up with, a two, with 2 billion in credits overnight. So this is kind of an advanced game method to developing stuff because it requires a lot of resources to build these places. Uh, lots and lots of metal plates to build things uh, on, the, on, the, uh, uh, on the planets. So when you're building like a, a mineral uh, a unit that breaks up the minerals and absorbs them from the planet, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, it, uh, they require a few metal plates to build them. Whereas the canisters or the uh, See? Brain. Brain not work on Friday. The canisters that carry everything, that all those uh, spare canisters I had on each of the bases to hold extra storage, require 10 metal plates each. And you need probably at least a dozen to 15 of them per planet just to make one of these. So think about that. You know, that's a lot of metal plates. You can buy metal plates at your trade stations. You can buy them sometimes by the hundreds, but they take up a lot of space in your inventory. So keep that in mind. A lot of ferrite dust I went through to create these things. But was really, it's really well worth it to you know make up the extra money you might need. And you'll be walking around with as many credits as I'm currently toting right now. I'm running at 4.2 billion credits. The maximums, I think, run around 4.26 or 4.27. So that's all you can get. But anyway, that is it in a nutshell on how to develop these things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is just a short video to show you how you can farm and get some decent materials out of uh, the resources that you can build legitimately. Now, of course, with a little bit of glitching, you can make stacks and stacks and stacks of this stuff. So hopefully you guys have fun. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again on the next episode.